The White House tonight says they've made a lot of progress over this past weekend fixing the Obamacare website, but the sign-up page, which has been plagued with problems from the start, will go offline now every day from 1 to 5 in the morning Eastern time while that so-called tech surge team works to get it right. Also tonight, it's becoming clear that problems with the website cannot be avoided by applying in phone or in person, as the president has been suggesting. More tonight from NBC News White House correspondent Peter Alexander. In Miami today, Christina Marrero is one of thousands of navigators helping Americans sign up for health insurance offline. In the beginning, it was working, but with the glitches, and now it's just down. So, I mean, now it's the paper applications that we're doing. That's what President Obama has urged consumers to do, bypass the website and apply for insurance the old-fashioned way, like he did again tonight. They can still apply for coverage by phone, by mail, in person. There was a time when the Internet didn't exist. But internal Obama administration memos show that won't solve the problem because the same portal is used to determine eligibility no matter how the application is submitted, paper or online. One memo reads, the paper applications allow people to feel like they are moving forward in the process and provides another option. At the end of the day, we are all stuck in the same queue. Today, the White House insisted frustrated consumers can turn to navigators to complete applications for them. We have never said that you wouldn't, that the process, the endpoint of the process wouldn't still have to go through healthcare.gov. That means your personal information still has to maneuver a complex online maze. First, the website must be accessed. Then all, all personal data has to be registered and verified. Next, the system must determine eligibility for government subsidies. That information lets consumers shop for a plan. And when you finally choose a policy, all that data must be translated into a different format that the insurance companies can read. This program will crumble if you don't find ways in which to deal with the fundamental challenges right now. Tonight, even Democratic allies are calling for a timeout. That means shutting this program down for 60, 90, 120 days. I'd much rather see that in the political fallout we may endure because of that than a program that just limps along over the next several months. Health policy experts saving enrollment information getting sent to insurance companies is still badly flawed. Brian, as for those internal memos about applying offline, tonight an administration official says they are notes, not official meeting minutes, and they are several weeks old before they say significant progress to the website was made. Peter Alexander at the White House for us tonight. Peter, thanks.